Hello guys, uh, Peter from Sun Insurance. And uh, how is everybody doing today? I hope very well wherever you're watching from. If this is your first time to watch my content, please consider to subscribe at the end of it. Uh, your subscription will make a difference. So guys, today I wanted to do a video to help those people who are studying uh, a new business or already who have uh, like box trucks and other units and they are on the road looking for loads. This one, I'm gonna let you know what you're supposed to be having in your truck. Anytime you bid a load, this is what the brokers are looking for. And if you don't have this uh, type of tools they are looking for, you might end up not winning their load. So wherever they post a load, they would either be asking for a lift gate, a pallet chuck, straps, and, uh, and more. So today, if you have, a, um, you have a box truck, you are out there, even right now as you are doing this video, uh, you need to go to the nearest Home Depot or nearest uh, a truck stop or farm and a fleet and farm and buy this equipment and then start uh, beating your loads so the first thing you have to know is the correct measurements of your truck if you have a 26 footer know the way to do the correct measurements uh, you can use a tape measure to measure uh, the, the the length uh, from the driver's side to the tail and when you are uh, inside the box you need to know how tall is your truck from the floor to the roof and uh, how wide is your truck is from the door to the door uh, across and uh, what type of tools do you need to have you need to have a pallet chuck that one for sure, if you have, and uh, chances of uh, getting loads are high uh, because somebody's truck might uh, 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 break or you might go to a place where they don't have a, a loading dock and you need to use a, a pallet chuck and a lift gate. So a lift gate is one thing which goes together with a, a pallet chuck. So if you are planning to buy a truck, Think about buying a truck which has a lift gate, and then you have to buy a pallet chuck. And if for some reasons you don't have a pallet chuck, you can use a dolly. And uh, for some time it helps. Or if you don't have a lift gate, you can uh, use ramps. Uh, sometimes they allow ramps uh, to be used in uh, uh, loading. And also you need to have straps. Straps are the tools you use to secure the loads so that when you are in transit, when the load is in transit, it doesn't uh, move, shift from one side to, a sh to another side. Uh, in that way, you avoid a lot of things. You don't want to end up damaging uh, the broker's loads and then end up filing a claim. It protects both of you. So straps, you can have up to 10 straps just to be on the safe side. Sometimes they ask two or three straps, but it's good to have more in case you have a flight which needs more than that. And uh, some brokers, you may need to carry some loads where they need blankets. I've seen brokers, uh, the other day I was trying to bid on a load for my driver. And uh, this broker was asking me have 40 blankets. And I said, 40 blankets? <laughs> are you, are you going to provide this one to a shelter home or something? Uh, that was a joke. And then um, the blankets, but what I'm trying to say, the blankets are very important. You need to have them. You don't have to have too many unless they are going to reimburse. Sometimes if they ask before you bid that load, if you don't have enough, Ask them if are they going to give you money or you'll use your money 
and then they will reimburse. That's when uh, you are moving fragile things. And also, they ask for air ride. The air ride, you know, those are dust trucks which they have very good springs. Or uh, when you are carrying something, if it bounces on bad roads, you don't damage some of the things you you you, you have. Also, you need to have uh, your your truck needs to be kept very 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 clean. So uh, find a broom, a broom and a small trash can and trash bag and you know sweep it because some of uh, the brokers they post lots which have uh, food grade. The food grade, if your truck is dirty, uh, some bad smell coming out of it, you won't be able to be loaded. They will turn you out. And make sure your truck doesn't have holes whereby the water can come and seep through and damage the flight. Then uh, have the load bars. The load bars are very important. And you can have even 10 so that you can secure the loads. They help the, the where the straps cannot, you know, they cannot work. You can use the uh, load bars. When the load bars will not work, you can use the stra straps. And uh, if your truck does not have like horizontal heat trucks, horizontal are the ones which run across, and the particles are the ones which run uh, from the roof going down on the sides of the trailer. Uh, they do need them. So. If you are thinking about starting this business and you are adding more trucks in your flight, in your fleet, this is what you need to consider. Some of the things I've outlined on this uh, video are the things which can help you. I've, I haven't uh, exhausted all of them, but uh, those are some of the important ones which you need to have in your truck in order to move forward. So guys, I hope uh, I will see you in the next video, but do me a favor, uh, press the subscribe button and uh, do share my videos. Have a good day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.